how to create a sculpture from a single image. You can see I've done that already. And all the way to casting it. So let's go new project. We're going to go find our file. We'll go to downloads. Pick that image. We'll hit open. We're going to generate. It's going to take a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and name it. So this is my aunt. She was in high school. I'll probably do another one later on. Okay, so it generated the photo. Looks like it did a pretty good job. So we're going to go ahead and confirm. Now we're going to go in. If you need to make any changes, you can add glasses like I showed before. You can also transform and reshape it if it's not exactly right, but that looks good for us. We're going to go and download. So download the 3MF, and I'm also going to download the STL. We should see both of those there. All right, good. I'm going to go File, Import. Let's open up the STL. So it's going to be pretty large. We don't want it that large. And let's go... Scale it down. I'm going to go 50%. That should be good. That should be about the size we need. And if not, then we can scale it down some more. I'm also going to come in and I'm going to cut and give it a flat surface. So I'm going to grab this yellow dot. I'm going to bring it down right about there. We'll be good. Let's turn off the lower part. Let's go perform cut. And that should be what we want right there. Let's go to File, Select Project As. It's a warning, so we'll come back in here. We'll add supports, build plate only. Let's go Preview. Yeah, so there's our. And we'll go Print Plate, and then we'll send it out to our printer. So I did a thousand grams of sand and then I did 10 to 15% clay of that. And you don't have to go and buy the powdered bentonite clay. You can if you want the cost it is this clumping kitty litter. So you can get 14 pounds of that, but you need to grind it up in a blender, get it really fine so it mixes with your sand. Once you have it blended together, you can take a spray bottle and spray it and then mix it. So spray the top. If you want to be real careful and not add too much water too soon. Once you've done it enough, you can probably eliminate the spray bottle and just pour in what you know you normally would need. So right here, I'm going to go about an eighth of a cup at a time and mix that together. So that you can take it and break it apart. So it's almost there. I want it to hold its shape. Break even. No, that's pretty good. And not be real sticky on us. So I just take a five gallon tub. You can see I've got a little bit in there. Not much. I don't have much left. Because you, you can't leave it out or it'll dry out. So you got to leave it kind of stored in a semi-dry or a sealed container. So if you're using a store-bought flask, the ones with the pegs have those up because if you do the ones with the holes, what will happen is sand will get down in there and then you'll have some issues. So I'm going to take our newly made sand and crumble it inside. So the good thing about green sand is you can toss it out because it's just clay and sand. You don't have to worry about like Petrobond has to, since it's got oil in it, it has to be disposed of in a certain way. You don't have to worry about that with this. There we go. Let's 
So now I'm going to take baby powder, sprinkle that down. Just going to make sure that's all in there. So what's going to happen is, since I've got such a large object to cast, normally I wouldn't worry about it. The reason I didn't pack it down super hard is because I'm going to press this in there. And i got to make sure this is pri this is the absolute maximum I can do inside this flask. And I've got to get it all the way up to these edges, otherwise it'll catch. So that's why I'm taking my time kind of pressing this down and I didn't pack it fully because I needed it to have some give. So I'm going to do a real quick, just around the edge here, probably more than I need. You can put this in a sock and kind of pat it on there, all the way around, I'll place that on there. Looks good there. I'm going to place this inside here so we can keep a path kind of pressed down to her or to the object and now we want to get make sure that sand doesn't clump up on her or clump up on the object so I'm kind of just breaking it apart making sure that we're getting all the detail out of the model and we can pack it around the edges now And that amount will give you just enough for this size of flask, what we made with the 1,000 grams and then 10 to 15% of the bentonite clay. All right, so now that we've got that done, what I'm gonna do is take this little piece make sure we can see or get to what we're about to cast there we go there we are so there that's pretty good so I don't like this part right here All right, there we go so we've got that in there this is what we got to worry about leaking there we go good 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 we kept most of that so we should be good here this is the part that I worry about falling off work out perfectly and we don't want to bang it together too hard lined up there we go good and I'm just gonna tump it upside down so if anything busts loose it falls out what this will do is just kind of prevent anything from falling apart there tighten this as good as we can get it There we go. So we got it all the way up there to the sprue. We'll let that stuff cool off. So we took this PLA model. This is one that I had printed off before. And you can see I didn't have it exactly sealed up, but we got the face pretty good. Um, a lot of this stuff I can clean up. The problem though, with sand casting, a lot of times you'll get pitting. Pick your mold. Alright, so there's that. Let's see how this one turned out. Let me go grab my pliers. Let's see if I can do that with just my glove. Oh, good. We got the face pretty good. That one may have turned out better. You can still see the face print there. Uh, 
you can see a little leakage, which I thought I was going to get. I was really worried I was going to get a lot of leakage up there, but I didn't. All right, let's quench this sucker. Not, not too bad. 